हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई गुड इन दिस बिगॉन्सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एंड थ्री ऑफ टू डेज बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट यू हैव नॉट फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर जस्ट गो एंड राइट प्रॉब्लम नेम बाय आर मतलब यू गेट द वीडियो नाउ अगेन बोथ आर नियरली सेम इज जस्ट दैट एज यू कैन सी इन द इनपुट वी आर गिवेन टू थिंग्स the colors and the size of the window which we have to take and we have to tell if that window is consecutive i have to find all such windows so in the easy variation the window size is fixed which is 3 in the hard variation the window size is variable which is k and that k can be equal to my array length also now let's firstly look at what the problem was saying actually problem was saying firstly imagine this entire array as a circular array now we had already discussed a very standard trick for this circular kind of problems is first if the circular array you know will be repeated only and only twice at max just for simplicity copy paste the entire array again after this existing array that is first trick again indexes will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 sorry 4 5 6 7 8 9 and whenever you have a cyclic pattern just copy paste the existing array now if you had like remember what i specifically told is that you don't have infinite cyclic stuff which means that in this case you can have window of size 3 window of size 3 that's it that's it you can never take a window of size 3 here because this is equivalent to what you have already taken so this is again remember this is your existing array this is to replicate the cyclic fashion you just have pasted the entire array again now so you can just take you will have to take some element from your existing array so these are the possible only these are the only possible sub arrays for your existing array which will follow cyclic pattern also and will also give you three consecutive elements which are cyclic now one thing i told you there's another way if you want to see what is this 5 this is ultimately mapping to index 0 mapping to index 1 mapping to index 2 mapping to index 3 mapping to index 4 which i can ultimately say it is 5 mod 5 6 mod 5 7 sorry mod 5 7 mod 5 8 mod 5 And nine mod five. What is this? What is this five? Five is the length of my array. So I can also say that whenever I am trying to access any index, I will do a mod five. So I don't need to actually copy that. I can increase the index value. I will do a mod five. I will reach to a zero, and I will say. The value at index zero, it is the same value. If I would have placed value at index five, it would have been the same value at the index zero also. This is a very important cyclic trick which you should remember, and you should remember both of them. Both are very helpful. Now, coming on back, we know this very fashion. We just have to check if these three elements are alternating or not. How to check? Okay, simply this element should be different than these two elements. If that is the case, which means n index i should be different than i minus 1 and i plus 1 if that is the case which means this is a good window as you can see i will compare for this index i yes it is different so it's a good window move to different window this index i no it is not good window move to different window i this is not a good window okay move to different window this index i good window yeah good window okay and that is it that is it for me uh so this was the good window then this did not follow this also did not follow this also did like this yeah this followed and also if i check for this specific index it also followed how minus 
if I do a i minus 1, but r n minus 1 is not there. You forgot this thing is cyclic. So technically minus 1 is also there, but cyclic it should point to 5. How it can be possible? Simply the way we actually do a modulo in negative numbers or basically when I have I do a subtraction. I don't do a, if you remember, a minus b mod m, it is equal to a minus b plus m mod m. You don't know this, this is a standard technique of modulo. So as I am at the index i, I am doing a i minus 1 and i plus 1. So I should do a i minus 1 plus n mod n and i plus 1 mod n. These two values should be different from i, from nums of i. If that is the case, it's a good window. So I have these three as good windows for me. Thus the answer is 3. And that's the only thing which I have to do. So I will go on to all the indexes from my, again, nums of i. I don't need a mod n here because it is always less than n. So colors of i, it should not be equal to colors of i plus 1 mod n and it should not be equal to colors of Again, uh, you can also write the same thing as here as colors of i uh, should not be equal to colors of i minus 1 plus n mod n. Now, when these two conditions both are true, which means that index i is a good index. It is a good index, increase the answer by 1. Or I can say it's a good window of size 3. Thus, you will get the answer. Now, because of this, you iterate on this entire array only once. Thus, the time will be O of n no space u, space will be o of 1. Now, okay, this was good. But the next variation is that now the window size is k and this window size k is actually can be anything. Like it can be also 1 e 5 depending upon size of the array. If the array size is n, it can be n also. This is the second variation which is your second problem. Now, in this case, again, do the same stuff. Maksat kami ne bolna hai do the same stuff, exact same, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. The task was repeating, okay, imaginary repeating, imaginary, you will handle this repeating case by a modulo, but imaginary re repeating, write the same thing again. This is imaginary repeating, okay, let's put the indexes also, here it indexes 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, which is equivalent to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, cool. Now. Now your task was that this window earlier was of size 3. So I know I have to only compare this and this. But now the window size can be this. If the window size is this, you have to check the entire window and see if this is an alternating window or not. Any window is called alternating if it is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 like this fashion or a 1, 0, 1, 0 like this fashion. So basically simply saying if I am at an index i, its previous index should be different. And if I repeat this value again and again, as in if I repeat this pattern again and again, the length of that specific window should come down to be equal to k. So as for me to tell that window is good or not. Now, I have spoken that window, window, window again and again. So, you might end up feeling Aryan, it seems like a sliding window problem. And I also thought of sliding window only. Is it sliding window? Let's see. So for any sliding window problem, let's say I right now know that this window is good. I right now know this window is good. As you can see, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. I know this window is good. If I shift the window, which means if I shift it here, while when we do a sliding window approach, what we do? We incorporate a new element and we remove the existing element. Now, my question for you is, or if, if you know that, if you know that this window was a good window, then you also know one thing that this portion is also a good window. Although not of the size which you wanted, but still it's a good window, right? Now, if you incorporate any new element here, how do you even think of it will impact anything else in the remaining window? It will not. It will only impact this portion. That if it, if it would have been a 1, 
things would have been perfect and I could have continued my window as it is a zero. So it is not that my window is now shrink to a specific no. Now if it is a zero, so this is the portion which is a culprit and thus my new window will have to have to start from here onwards. Again, forget right now that this is cyclic. Imagine this is a big array. So my example is my 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 basically saying is that technically not you are not using any sliding window concept here because sliding window concept uses that you remove the existence of the element which went out of window and take in consideration of the new element. But here I realized the input which is the nums of i or any index coming in it is only impacted by its previous index and that to previous index if it is equal sorry if it is different then I can continue my alternating window but if it becomes same then I have to restart my window size from here and if the window size exceeds more than equal to k I should say Rn it should be equal to k right yeah technically equal to k but you will see that I am saying more than equal to k but if it is more than equal to k or I or you by your terms if it is equal to k then you are then you are good to say that you have a window size of equal to k which is having alternating elements so after this entire stuff let's do the same thing now again let's write it what we erased six seven eight and nine so let's write the same thing how we write the same thing we'll simply say that right now firstly in a, any general I want the window length right now the correct window length so far the window length is one alternating again how do you alternating just check the previous element if it is different I can continue my window okay the window length becomes two different yeah I can continue my window window length becomes three okay window length becomes three which means that I have this specific window which is good okay if this specific window is good is good I can increase my answer by one so I will increase my answer by one okay and again you saw when my index i was here then only I increased my answer by one then I my i came here again technically the window size I can continue so my window size will become four so you realized still it's still it tells me that I have a window ending at that index i which is bigger than that of k which means this is a window but ultimately I want the window size k only so for me this is what I require and if it is bigger than k okay it is good but ending at specific index i I will have only one window and I will have that window because my window size is more than k so, okay increase the answer by one again so you see I will check my window count or basically number of elements in a specific window if it is more than equal to k then I can increase my answer by one okay go on to next element window size will increase by one again one then go to next element oh it is zero so reset the window count reset the window count again go on to next here the window size is equal to two okay uh, again not equal to three so i can I, again i have to continue equal to three increase by one do i increase by one no because you remembered that if i repeat the cyclic process the last window can be at max here what is this index i should say this index is if this index is n minus 1 and number of elements after that last index can be at max k minus 1 so this index this index will be actually n minus 1 plus k minus 1 so I should only go up till this index and I should never ever ever touch this portion because I want to maintain its cycle and I don't want to repeat anything and thus I told you that replicating the entire array afterwards help you debug also and write your code very easily also people get confused in modulo so much that they end up not solving a problem which i don't want you to solve which i, which I don't want you to get into so you realize okay you will go into all these indexes up till index i where i is less than equal to n minus one plus k minus one and then what you will do simply check your previous index only and just keep on increasing your window length if it becomes more than equal to k then increase your answer that's the only code so let's see the code so i have my max length initially again this max length is w only this max length is w only this is w only this is w only cool 
Now in this my answer answer is the number of the such windows and my n. Then as you can see I went on starting from the index one up till the index n minus one plus k minus one. R in y one because I am always checking for my previous index. I am always checking for my previous index. So I am going one onwards. Okay. Then I will simply go and check. Okay, if colors of i, if it is not equal to my colors of i minus one plus n mod n, again you realize why this is useful. I told you earlier also. If you do i minus one, technically you want to check i minus one, but as it is cyclic, everything is cyclic. So do a plus n and then do a mod n. Cool. If it is not equal, then I can increase my window size because I want alternating window. But if it is equal, then reset the window size right now and make it equal to back one. If my window size is more than equal to k, then I can increase my answer by one because I will have ending at that index. I will have a window which is more than equal to k, which means I will for sure have a window of size k ending at that index i. And thus increase the answer by one, and thus ultimately getting the answer. So your time, as you can see, is simply o of n. Or you can say o of n plus k, but still it is o of n only. Space will be your o of one because you are you're, you're using no extra space at all. And that is your answer. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do smash the like baby. If you want to watch contest tutorials and daily problem videos, be consistent for entire hearing crack interviews. Subscribe to Bandai. Cool. Bye bye.